What's up guys, Lou here, back with another video regarding the next generation iPhone or the iPhone 6, or maybe the iPhone Air. <laughs> Regardless of what it's called, I got my hands on this case right here, which may or may not be for that next gen device, but based on some of the leaks that are out there and some of the component pictures and also just general speculation on what Apple will do with the next iPhone, I'm led to believe that this is something like what the iPhone 6 is gonna look like. Now, after a inspection of this case and other devices, etc., the most striking thing about the design of this case is how thin it is. It's incredibly thin. It's thinner than the current generation iPhone, and it is an external dimension. So the next gen iPhone is gonna have to fit inside of this case, meaning it must be even thinner. So I was thinking to myself, maybe, just maybe the internal dimension is exactly the same as this right here, which is the current generation iPod Touch. I didn't own one, so I went out to the store and bought one just for this comparison, and I think the results might be surprising. So let's go ahead and get this iPod Touch out of the packaging and test it out inside of what might be the iPhone 6 case. So from left to right, we have the iPhone 5S. In the center is the current generation iPod Touch. And then on the far right, we have the purported iPhone 6 case. Now, as I said before, the most striking aspect of this case for me is just how thin it is. I understand, of course, the form factor here is larger in height and width to accommodate what we believe will be a larger screen in the iPhone 6. But the thinness of this case, as well as the curved design, reminded me a lot of the iPod Touch. So when comparing the iPhone 5S to the iPod Touch, you'll notice that the Touch is not only thinner, significantly thinner, it's also curved in design, as opposed to this flat edge and the more squared off design that exists on the iPhone. It's curved, it's thinner, and on top of that, you have the newly designed volume buttons, which will remind you a lot of that case I was talking about. It also features buttons in this style here, as opposed to the older circular design that's found on the iPhone 5S, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, and iPhone 4 even, going way back. So there's no doubt to me that this would make a lot of sense for Apple to move in this direction here when it comes to volume buttons to match up with the other products in its lineup, including the iPads. So as mentioned, this case is obviously much larger than the current iPod Touch, as we expect. A screen increase is the reason for that. But there's one dimension that we are here to test, and that is the thickness. I really want to know if it's possible for the next generation iPhone to actually be as thin as the iPod Touch, which is very, very thin as I've shown you here. Uh, so let's go ahead and slide it into the case here. Now, obviously it doesn't fill out the case because it's much smaller in terms of screen size, but something very interesting here, if you turn it around, you'll notice that the thickness is exact. It is exactly the same thickness as the iPod Touch, the case that I'm talking about. And on top of that, these volume buttons line up exactly. So they actually function. You can actually click through and use the buttons, assuming you've got it up tight here. But there you go, the buttons function. You won't be able to hear that click, but they click through perfectly and they line up perfectly. And if you peek through where the hold switch will exist, on an iPhone, it doesn't exist on an iPod Touch, but if you look through that little hole, you'll see that the thickness is identical between the case and the iPod Touch. So this may point in the direction of a thinner iPhone 6 with the new design so that the design language across devices is a little bit more consistent. So anyways, there you have it guys. We have, I guess, determined to a certain extent that if this case is legitimate, it points at an iPhone with the same thickness as the current generation iPod Touch. The moment that I first held the iPod Touch, I thought it would be really cool as a phone just because of how thin it was. But on the negative side, a super thin device generally means a small battery. So we may not be seeing gigantic improvements in battery life with the next generation iPhone if it does happen to follow this particular design right here. Anyway guys, that wraps up this quick video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you're interested in more Apple related leaks leading up to the launch of the next iPhone or iPad, this is the place to be. So make sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. Once again, there they are. The current gen iPod Touch, 
the current gen iPhone and the significantly thinner form factor that exists on the iPod Touch, that could be what the iPhone 6 looks like. We will have to wait and see and time will tell. All right, later guys.